सुप्रभातम वी विल सी द वर्ड स्प्लिट कृषि गोरक्ष वाणिज्यम वैश्य कर्म स्वभावजम परिचर्यात्मक कर्म शूद्र से अभी स्वभावजम सो वी आर सीइंग द फोर वर्णस एंड दे एंड दे आर इनेट ट्रेड्स एंड दोस दैट दे हैव टू डेवलप सो दैट दे कैन डू देयर स्वधर्म प्रॉपरली एंड देन वर्क फॉर एनलाइटनमेंट बीइंग एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन देयर स्वकर्म एंड स्वधर्म दैट इज व्हाई दीज लिस्ट ऑफ क्वालिटीज आर बीइंग गिवन so for brahman we saw nine qualities shamodama for kshatriya we see we saw shauryam tejah seven qualities and now for vaishya krishi gorakshya vanijyam krishi is agriculture gorakshya is cattle rearing and then go samrakshanam that's a better term rather than cattle rearing because gomata we consider the cows not merely as just a cattle it is a gomata all the uh, devatas 33 crore devatas reside in the gomata that is our belief it is not that once uh, it is of no use then we just uh, discard those uh, we just consider them as uh, animals and no not that way so it is a part of the family so hence in that way so goraksham is a better word than cattle rearing cattle rearing doesn't convey the spirit that we have the reverence that we have towards the gomata and also vanijyam is business so whatever the produce is created that has to be transacted that has to be taken to the market and sold so hence these are the uh, natural tendencies of people born with the vaishya dharma and then paricharyatmakam karma service the tertiary so there are uh, you might have you might remember having studied in your schools where the primary and tertiary nature of work so service activities whoever works around and helps and serves others so that is uh, the shudra karma swabhavajam so together if we put together all these qualities uh, nine qualities for uh, brahmana seven for uh, kshatriya three for vaishya and one for shudra totally 20 innate human qualities so this governs the the entire humanity as such so this need not be as i have been emphasizing since yesterday this need not be seen as something higher something lower this is based on the study of human gunas and karma based on that krishna has arrived at this chaturvarnyam maya srishtam rather observing the human psyche human pravritti these have been listed out now in this a couple of clarification is that there is a we, during our school school days and other things in our history book and other things we see this varna being equated to the feudal system that the western countries have oh there is a nobility and there is this uh, labor force and so on and so forth so it is not that way so nothing higher and nothing lower there is a dignity of each and every person is it just a statement are there any corroborations to that there are many many corroborations which says that each individual which with their own innate qualities are to be respected ramayana which is one of our primary texts what does it say rama on a couple of occasions hugged hanuman rama hugged guha also so while hugging uh, Uh, hanuman he says yesha sarvasva bhutastu parishvango hanumatah that is i am that is i cannot pay back hanuman what he has done see hanuman is not even a human a monkey by by jati by birth so means though we revere him as a divinity but we see vanara monkey so that is in that category only he is there but uh, rama hugged hanuman and said that uh, the service that you have done to me for that i cannot pay anything in any kind so i am just uh, giving myself and hugging you so sarvasva bhutah completely i am giving you myself to you so in that way and guha also guha was also hugged so hence everywhere there is no one is categorized as lower or higher everyone was respected and everyone should be respected that was the spirit so does that mean that there was no discrimination no parity or kind of differences 
they did exist because human nature as patanjali maharishi notes avidya asmita raga dvesha abhinivesha there are systems created and then systems go wrong it doesn't mean that the system is wrong people who are with raga dvesha they distort the system but in spirit the varna system has such noble ideas you can see further example later down so in ancient ramayana time only this uh, dignity for everyone was given not in any recent times not at all when we see ramanujacharya was uh, was in the 10th century 11th century when he goes to take bath in the river after taking bath he should he will first come out and take the support of a harijan dalit brother only and then he will come out so hence uh, he did not see any parity even in the 10th century 11th century we can see that and uh, one kulashekhar alwar who wrote mukunda mala he says tvad bhrutya paricharaka bhrutya bhrutya bhrutyasya bhrutyoham iti mam smara vasudeva in his mukunda mala he says i am the servant of your servant of your servant of your servant of your servant's servant so seventh level he puts himself so there is nothing lower in serving others so that is the bhakti bhava he expressed and that also indicates the dignity that is given actually what happened is fedex is a big courier company or which uh, gives a lot of kind of just like a uh, the uh, blue dart and other things which delivers couriers they were running into losses and then the chief of the fedex he felt what is wrong oh i am approaching a top down model in my company i have to start the bottom up model i have to work with the last employee i should not work with only the executives where did he get this idea from in iskon there in the west they used to sing this mukunda mala which is devoted to krishna then he got this a seven level structure idea i have to start from the lower most rung i have to work with them then the company will grow again so that's how fedex revived itself so in this way this in spirit every other brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra all of them are endowed with their own quality and krishna later says sve sve karmanya bhiratah samsiddhim labhate narah in whichever position you are first consolidate try to understand what is your guna karma swabhava nothing higher nothing lower stabilize yourself there and then try to a uh, kind of enlighten yourself and move up swami vivekananda also says everyone should become a brahmin in the sense shamo damas tapa shaucham everyone should aspire to become that while stabilizing themselves and we are celebrating sanskrit utsava swami vivekananda says how to become a brahmin learn sanskrit learn sanskrit understand about the dharma properly its a dynamic nature become a brahmin and then let us make the world noble so this is the beautiful dynamic model of uh, Uh, enlightenment that is given in our sanatana dharma which is beautifully portrayed in these bhagavad gita shlokas thank you i would like to call upon the dignitaries on this stage to give the token of appreciation to mr kiran kumar sir nss coordinator s vyasa and dr ranjini ma'am assistant professor of ts vnm for the support throughout the whole camp and the student nss volunteers harshita from third year and punima akka from the final year we would we would like to give the token of appreciation डॉक्टर रंजनी मैम स्ट्रांग कॉफी कुड़ी बेको नाउ वी हैव द सर्टिफिकेट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर द एनएसएस स्टूडेंट्स चिराग मानस 
Chandan, kindly come on the stages. Arvind, Hari Priya, Vinay, Tejas, Krutika, Madhumita, Gayatri, Yoga, Varalakshmi, Amrit, Chaya, Anusha, Pritam, Roshan, Kamal, Bandavya. Vividya, Aarti, Dhanushri, Sweta, Himani, Arudra, Medni, Saumya, Sita, Chandrika, Bhumika, Mirunalni, Shri Munisha, Bhavya, Lavni, Vishnu, Varshini, Anup. I request all the students kindly come on the stages. Sai, Aishwarya, Ranjit, Harsh, Pravishnu. Ashwati, Shashank, Manish, Bad. Shanti Mantra Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makasche Dhukha Bhavavid Om Shanti 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 Shanti